Hey, greetings everybody. Dr. Randy Words in Thrive Chiropractic. Welcome. Hey, wanted to talk to you today about what foods we give our children that cause health conditions. And there's a few of them that do that. So let's jump in, shall we? So number one, wheat. Now you think wheat, that's in bread, that's in everything. But I got to tell you, I've seen kids uh, that, and adults for that matter, that have issues with wheat. Sometimes their stomach will get upset. Other times their skin will start to become puffy. They become really sore, particularly in their low to mid back is where their back starts to become sore. It's referred pain. So watch out because this could be a sign of celiac disease or an issue with uh, like juvenile rheumatoid arthritis or other autoimmune condition because what happens is the wheat causes inflammation in the body. It does for everybody, but these people are very sensitive and they can't handle it as well. So that's one thing that you want to do is if you're eating wheat, eating a lot of bread and you're sore and you feel achy a lot all the times or your children are feeling puffy, that might be something to look into. Dyes are another one. You'll find this in jello. Pretty much every processed food will have dyes in it. The yellows, the blues, uh, the reds, all those I seen gifts where it causes anger in some kids and headaches in another. So the best thing is eat a natural food. Always have fruits and vegetables available for these children and give it to them. And so it's, they're gonna eat what's convenient for them and what's in front of them. So make it available to them as well. MSG is another one. We'll see uh, kids that have this have headaches a lot of times. So the body can't break down this um, chemical. And it is a manufactured chemical, it's a flavor enhancer. So a substitute could be salt, usually found in Asian foods. So if you start noticing, hey, I'm starting, you are starting to have headaches or your children are starting to have headaches, may want to start looking at this as far as asking to take it out when you go to restaurants because sometimes they add it um, when they cook as well so you can take it out. Dairy is another one too. For me, as a kid, I used to drink dairy a lot. I used to drink milk a lot, but I always had dark circles underneath my eyes and allergies would be affected. We're not designed to break down cow's milk readily available as, some, uh, as a cow is. The proteins are very big. We have a hard time doing that. Now, for some people, they can do it. There might not be any symptoms. But for others, it causes some allergies or some inflammation in the body as well. So I hope this was helpful for you. Those are some things that you can start looking for because I've seen people where I'm adjusting them and they're not getting better and I start looking for diet and some of these things will start to show up. So I want to make sure that you're aware of this so you can pay attention. If your child is having some issues, look at these things the wheat, the dyes, the MSG, the dairy, those are four common ones that you can pay attention to, that if there are health conditions, look at those. Now, if there's something where this is not clearing out, I would say avoid this for a week or two weeks and then introduce them, then you know what's happening. But there could be some things where you're taking the wheat, the dyes, the MSG, the dairy out of their diet, and they're still having some problems. Well, there could be something neurologically going on where the nerves are not working correctly and therefore the body's not working correctly. And that's exactly what I do as a chiropractor is assess how the nerves work properly. So you might be, need to give me a call and we might have to sit down and have a little chat, talk and see, hey, if this is the right place for you, you're more than welcome to do that. Hey, this is Dr. Randy Wirtz in Thrive Chiropractic. Hope this was helpful for you uh, today. I want you to have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.